All right, <clears throat> I'm at the back of the van. It's uh, four years going on five years with my DL429. Thought I'd do an update. And I still have my DL389 that's like 16, almost 17 years old. Um, I got them both reading temperature right now. And even though this one's 16 years old, look at that. They're right in the wheelhouse. That's close enough for me. I'm not doing scientific stuff with my little refrigeration business. So the wind's blowing right now. You're going to see the temperatures moving all around. Super windy. Yeah, that's how windy it is right now. So I got a ton of wind. Deuters! Oh, three quarters. Three quarter team. <laughs> but <clears throat> I remember when this first came out, people were wondering if the writing on the push buttons was going to wear out um things like that it hasn't this thing's four years old it's filthy i use it every single day it takes a whooping these are some old leads i had out of uh this uh this unit now the one thing that uei used to do better was the bags these little plasticky rubbery uh meter bags held up real good the meter bag that came with this was uh trash so i have it inside of here which is a husky bag that you can get at home depot and uh I got my safety goggles in there and a bunch of different leads and K-type thermocouples, alligator leads. And this thing's held up, man. The whole button started to wear out a little bit. You could see right there. But that's probably from being in the bag all the time. Magnets holding up. Um, all the features work on it just fine. It's my go-to meter. And this, this is like been pushed back to backup meter but still a great meter so i've had that's an old uh, g2 phoenix when they first came out it was about 16 years ago i bought that meter and the only reason i bought this meter was because i got all allured by the bluetooth thing which i found out you really don't end up using that much um oh and um also because this had uh two temperature probes you don't need a dual temperature meter when you have two on this so that takes the place of a whole nother meter. You know, it goes down to minus 300 degrees and over 2,000 degrees reading. So it's a really good dual temperature thermometer in here. I like it a lot. Um, the old one only had a, it only had one for reading temp. And uh, this will do T1 minus T2 also. Um, now they have the B model. If you're going to buy one of these nowadays, you'll get a DL429 Bravo B. That'll do DC amps and a couple other features that this meter does not. Uh, more for getting into your uh, very drives and your mini splits and things like that. But it's been a good meter. Non contact voltage right here. Uh, you got your min, max, lock rotor, inrush. You got your volts, AC, DC volts, your micro amps for your flame sensor. Change your range, your temperature. Volts, hertz, duty cycle. It's got a uh, ohms, micro ferrets, does the whole deal. So this is what it looks like after four years. You can see she's good and filthy. Look at all the dirt in there. But absolutely holding up. No hiccups, no glitches on mine. So I'm totally stoked on it. So that's the four-year update on this and like the 16-year update on the, the DL389. The old G2 Phoenix. And of course, all the field piece heads go on these meters. If you have the old field piece heads, they snap right on there. And then they'll read on the, on the top line, the adapter line all your field piece heads so you could actually end up getting three temperature readings off these I've, do, I've done videos of that before but i thought i'd give you guys the four years going on five update i've given a few of these away probably like three i think i've given away three of these meters because i i liked it so much on the channel when i do giveaways i'd buy them and then give them away so yeah totally stoked on it still a good meter great meter for hvac for everything you need need for HVAC, but I'd get uh, the new model is DL four twenty nine B as in boy. That'd be the one you'd want to get. I know a lot of you guys like the wheel more than the push buttons. I haven't had any problems with my push buttons whatsoever. Boop. 
Um, the only thing, <clears throat> the only thing I'd probably want to see in the future is as I get older, you know, your eyes deteriorate. It's going to ha happens to all of us. Uh, maybe a bigger screen with the bigger, with the bigger readout as we get older for us old timers. That's about it. Really. That'd be my only upgrade I'd want to do. All right. Like subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.